Okay, so today I researched teachers' rights and responsibilities. I really enjoyed researching this topic and finding uh, different things on it. So the first topic is marital and parenthood status. So not too long ago, schools, whenever they were hiring teachers, they honestly were looking for like marital status and parenthood, and women were actually supposed to say no, they weren't getting married and having children, so they could get hired. But men, this question wasn't actually really a big deal for them. Um, now, federal, state, federal and state laws make uh, like this thing like illegal. Like you can't hire people based on marital and parenthood status. Um, the now the interview questions have to be uh, for the job requirements. Uh, Title Nine, uh, if the education of the education amendments and Title. Eight, I mean seven of the Civil Rights Act prohibit these practices. So the next one is sexual harassment, which unfortunately this does happen in schools, teachers, students, but um, it is illegal and it's hard to stop. A lot of the times the burden falls on the victims and people tend to ask questions like, oh, did you lead them on? Or, you know, are you sure this is actually happening? So the best way to, um, help this is to um, keep records of the harasser's behavior and also have witnesses willing to like basically attest for you. Um, so personal life, there's different things that you can be fired for. So some of them are engaging in sexual acts with students, uh, allowing students to drink alcohol, and then using profanity towards students as well as stealing school property. Um, courts have ruled that teachers should not be fired for private homosexual behavior, obesity, and the use of profanity outside of school. So another topic is academic freedom. Uh, courts balance the right to academic freedom with the school's interests in students learning the subjects and environment suited for learning. So pretty much just make sure your materials and lessons are really like focused on what the students really need to be learning rather than them being inappropriate or irrelevant. Uh, so legal liability, as teachers obviously our responsibility is the students and we want to make sure that they're safe and okay. Uh, you can't always stop bad things from happening but it's important to uh, make sure you're at your assigned area when you need to be and only leaving for emergencies as well as the classroom only leave for emergencies always make sure someone or you is watching your students okay so the next one is freedom of speech uh, as long as you have a matter pertaining to public concerns you can pretty much say what you want the only thing is you shouldn't make statements that are uh, intentionally or recklessly inaccurate disclose um, confidential material or hamper the school discipline of your performance of duties which the First Amendment actually does prohibit teachers from displaying religious hostility so not really like you know making students choose a religion or anything like that okay so another one is copying published material so of course as teachers we want to make sure our students have the best articles to read and materials but it's important to um, ask permission of the creator, the publisher, or the author, um, or obviously it could be a problem for you. And also, uh, reproduction of material is considered fair use. So, um, fair use, I just put the definition right there, is legal principle that allows the use of copyrighted materials without written permission or payment. Also, up here, if the material is 75 years old or published by the government, it's okay to use. You don't have to ask for permission. So the next one is labor rights. Uh, as a lot of people know, teachers go on strike for better pay or, you know, whatever they think. But um, actually, 30 states have laws that prohibit strikes, so you can't strike, um, obviously, or you'll pretty much get in trouble. But it did say many communities choose not to prosecute teachers who strike, so they just kind of let them do it. Um, but I have a point here where it's important to understand your state's laws and whether or not you can strike um, and get in trouble for it. So my closing statement, 
I pretty much agreed with everything that was said within these topics. Um, I feel that it's important to, you know, make sure you watch your students, make sure they're safe, um, being in your assigned area, unless in an emergency. Um, also with the striking, like I said, I know a lot of teachers complain about pay, but just make sure you understand your state and their laws regarding it. So here are my questions. I'm just going to read these real quick. Do you think teachers should involve their personal life into their teaching? Why or why not? Would you speak up if you were having, if you were being sexually harassed and how would you do, how would you go about telling it? Uh, what should you do if you have an article you want to print for every student in the class? Again, with the copywriting. Uh, what would you do if a student got hurt when you were supposed to be watching them? And then I just have my work cited.